Hi guys, welcome to Video Likes. So today I'm going to show you certain workable tweaks and settings that will help you torrent download faster. So just follow the tutorial and put in the settings. The tweaks discussed here works best for uTorrent versions of 3.3 and above. So if you're using a lower version of uTorrent, please update your version and then apply these settings. Now I've already applied the tweaks, so let me show you the current download speed I'm clocking on uTorrent. Now, the current internet's connectivity speed uh, that I'm using is 1 Mbps. So, what I have here on my desktop is the torrent file for the movie called Godzilla. Now, this is a 2014 movie and I presume it's got a good health. So, I'm going to double click and start it up in uTorrent and show you guys the download speed I'm clocking. So what I'm doing is I've just started up the, this particular torrent file in uTorrent. So you can see that the download speed is steadily rising. It's now 3.7, 3.9. Uh, it's very close to 4 Mbps. Now it's gone over 4 Mbps. So you can see that the current download speed I'm clocking here is 4.1 Mbps with a current internet connectivity speed of 1 Mbps guys. So let me now discuss with you the kind of settings you need to put in. Now first we need to go to something called the options here and under options you come down to preferences. Now when you go down to preferences. Uh, you leave general UI settings directories and you come here down to connection now under connection you need to change this particular port now you change this port and make it 45682 that is the port used for income incoming connections now uh, you need to tick enable UPnP port mapping enable NAT PMP add Windows firewall exception tick all the three of them and keep the randomized port each start unchecked. After this, you go down to bandwidth. Now, in the bandwidth, maximum upload rate you put it at 70. Then you come down maximum download rate. Now, here is the catch uh, you see here that zero is for unlimited, but I would always uh, prefer to put a threshold. To this particular download limit this actually enhances the download so what you guys can do is you can either put zero here for unlimited or you can put it a threshold for me the threshold is 7500 you can put it a little bit higher but I think this is fine now you just uh, uh, check apply rate limit to transfer over it apply rate limit to UPMT uh, UTP connections then you go down to global maximum number of connections and put this number at 200. Maximum number of connected peers per torrent is 2329 and number of upload slots per torrent you put it at 14 and you check use additional upload slots if upload speed is less than 90%. Now once you are done with this particular tab you go down to BitTorrent. Now under BitTorrent you need to check all these uh, that are here and you just keep limit local peer bandwidth unchecked then you go down here to protocol encryption under protocol encryption you have to change this to forced it's normally either disabled or enabled you change this to forced and you check allow incoming legacy connections now once you're through with that now you go down to transfer cap Transfer cap, you don't need to do anything, any changes is not required, you go down to queuing and under queuing, you change maximum number of active torrents, upload or download, you put that at 60, Max, maximum number of active downloads, you put that at 63, uh, minimum ratio percentage is 150. Uh, and the minimum seeding time you put this as zero minimum number of available seeds again you put this as zero now keep these two boxes unchecked now you leave scheduler remote playback you leave all, all of them and you go down here to advance now under advance there are a lot of changes that you require to do, to do uh, which you, I need you to follow very carefully the first thing is BT allows same IP now by default this is selected as false you have to change this to true okay so how you gonna do that you just select this 
and you get the values here and you put it through okay now you just come down here to BT connect speed now BT connect speed you change put the value here you type the value 28 and you click on set now once you click on set any value that you change you can see that this is uh, denoted by an asterisk mark right adjacent to that particular value now once you're through with that you just come down further and you change BT progressive speed span MB and you put this as one now you go down further you have here as GUI dot show no torrents node now this by default is selected as true you just change this to false then you go down to GUI update rate and by default I believe this is selected as thousand you have to change this and make this value two thousand now once you're done with that you go down further and you change this net max half open now this is uh, this guy is a very important step this actually really boosts up your internet download speed so you just change this and put this value as 500 then you go down to net outgoing port and you put this value as 50 then you go down farther and you change peer disconnect inactive interval now this you put the value as 125 then you go down and change RSS update interval and put this as 20 so uh, I believe we are almost through with this so that's it guys once you are through with all these settings you just need to click on ok and that's it now what you need to do is you need to first exit uTorrent here you can see that 84.5% of my download is almost through and it's constantly maintaining a speed of 4.1 to 4.2 Mbps now what I'm going to do here is so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to exit uTorrent from here so once it's done now I am going to start up uTorrent once again so hope this tutorial will help you to boost your download speed now if you have any query please put in your comments below and I would be glad to answer them. If you like my videos do please put in your likes and subscribe to my channel. Catch you again in the next video. Till then bye bye.